Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 3 in the Calculus 1 playlist. So in this tutorial I'm going to be discussing a few introductory examples of cases where limits do and don't exist. So the first thing we're going to look at here is we're going to look at our function here and we're going to take the limit of our function and we're going to look at our, the limit of our function as x approaches the value 3 from the left. So we've got this function f of x that I've sketched out here and uh, we're basically going to approach the value x equals 3 and we're going to approach it from the left and basically we're looking for what f of 3 looks like it might be so as we're approaching x equals 3 from the left this is x equals 3 here approaching it from the left it looks like if this is all we're looking at it looks like as we get close to x equals 3 it looks like f of 3 is going to give us the value 2 so because that's what it looks like as we're approaching it from the left, we say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the left is 2. So the limit exists in this case, and it is 2. So now let's take the limit of our function f of x. And this time we're just going to take the limit as x approaches the same value, 3, but this time it's from the right-hand side. So the negative means we're approaching it from the left, the positive here means we're approaching it from the right. So coming in from the right hand side, as we're getting closer to x equals 3, it looks like the f of 3 value that we're going to have is going to be equal to 3. So we say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right exists and it is 3. So what about this case right here? The limit of our function f of x as x approaches 3, in this case I'm not going to specify left or right, this is just going to be in the general case. Well, if we're looking at the limit of our function as x approaches 3, well, we have to look to see if the left hand and the right hand side produce the same value. And because we get a different value approaching our function from the left than we do when we approach it from the right, we simply just say that the limit of our function as x approaches 3 does not exist. So DNE does not exist. So in order for a limit to exist, it needs to approach the value, the same value from the left and the right hand side. So the left and the right hand side. So if we were to look at this point right here, this would be the limit as x approaches 0. So we're taking the limit of the function f of x once again as x approaches 0 from the left. So as it approaches from the left hand side it looks like we're going to get a corresponding f of 0 value that is equal to negative 1 here. So That's equal to negative 1 so the limit exists from the left hand side and it turns out that if we approach it from the right hand side x approaches 0 from the right of our function f of x. Approaching it from the right we end up um, with the same value f of 0 as we're getting close it looks like f of 0 is going to give us the value negative 1 as well so because the left hand side and the right hand side limits agree as x approaches 0 we can say in this case that the limit of our function f of x as x approaches 0 in the general case exists and it is negative 1 so just looking at this function that I've sketched here um, the limits are going to exist everywhere on this function except for when x equals 3 or when x approaches 3 that is and it's not going to exist when x approaches negative 3 so let me clarify that a little bit so for the values as x approaches 3 and as x approaches negative 3 the limits will exist from the left hand and the right hand sides individually but the limits will not exist in general because the left hand and right hand limits do not agree for the cases as x approaches 3 and x approaches negative 3. Everywhere else on this function that we can see, we will have some value as we take the limit anywhere else, and those values will have a, it will be a limit that basically exists. So anyway, that was an introduction on certain cases when limits can exist and when they can't. So I'll probably cover some more information on this later, but uh, this looks like a good place to stop this tutorial. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this lesson, and uh, have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.